Hello class, good afternoon. Today we will continue with the last topic of stage four, topic 4.6, compound machines. First, I'm going to outline the objectives of today's class. Firstly, we will define a what a compound machine is and the different components that constitute a compound machine. And then we're gonna analyze different daily life examples of a compound machine and the different components, okay? So let's now proceed with the definition of a campaign machine, which was actually already given at the beginning of this stage. A campaign machine can be defined as any mechanical system made up of at least two different simple machines. Therefore, it is simply a combination of simple machines that help to create an even major mechanical advantage. All campaign machines have two different set of components, a mechanical component and an energetical component. Let's review each one of them separately. Mechanical components include any tool or object used to transform the energy given to the machine, which can be of any nature, into mechanical energy. So think of it as any component that transforms energy into mechanical energy. Examples of mechanical components include, but are not limited to, wheels, which can be found in wheelbarrows, cranes, bicycles, etc. Belts, such as this red one, that are included in bicycles, bulldozers, escalators, etc. And gears such as the ones that constitute the engines of cars, washing machines, amongst others. So these are the mechanical components. These are physical objects that help to transform energy. On the other hand, the energetical components of campaign machines are the ones that actually provide the energy to the machine. Typical examples include batteries, which provide chemical and electrical energy, photocells, which provide electrical and thermal energy, and springs, which provide poten with potential energy to different machines. And there are many others. Hence, in a compound machine, the energetical component provides the energy, which will later be transformed into mechanical energy by the mechanical components. Let's now proceed with the second goal of this class, which is to analyze some daily life examples of compound machines. Here we have a bulldozer. A bulldozer is made up of three different simple machines. The wedge, which helps to take gravel and ground easily due to its shape. The lever, which will be this one, which helps in amplifying a force to lift the heavy amount of ground and the wheel and axle, which helps with the motion of the whole machine without much effort. The energetical components of the bulldozer will be the engine using diesel in order to make the whole machine to actually move. And the mechanical components include the belts, the gears inside the machine, and in general, the simple machines altogether. Another campaign machine, which we can see in our daily life, is a bicycle. A bicycle is made up of at least three different simple machines. The pulley, which helps with the synchronized motion of the wheels. The lever, which helps with, the, with direction, the motion of the bicycle, and also with the speeding up the task of the pedaling. And the wheel and axle, which helps with the moving with the motion of its wheel without much effort. Another simple machine that might be included is also the screw. The energetical component will be the human body pedaling. Why? Because the motion of arms, fingers, and legs of the human body provide mechanical energy to compound machines. And thus, it is also considered to be a, an energetical component. The mechanical components of a bicycle include the bells, gears, and the simple machines altogether. 
Another campaign machine is a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow is made up of two simple machines at least, the lever and the wheel axle. The lever, which amplifies the force to lift a heavy amount of gravel or cement, and the wheel and axle, which once again, helps with moving the whole machine without much effort. The energetical component will be once again the human body, while the mechanical components include the wheels and in general, the two or three simple machines together. Here we have a washing machine. We're not gonna analyze the parts of a washing machine too minutely, but it can be observed with this diagram that it is made up of multiple pulleys and screws, which will constitute the, the main simple machines of a washing machine. The energetical components will be the electrical input that helps to start running the machine, while the mechanical components will include the gears, belts, bulbs, and the simple machines all together once again. This is a little bit more complex than the other ones. The last example we're gonna be analyzing is the escalator. An escalator is made up of two simple machines, mainly the incline plane, which provides a larger distance in which the load can be carried with, without applying a lot of effort, and the pulleys to aid with the motion of the steps. The, the energetical component will be once again the electrical input, while the mechanical components include the gears, bales, and the sample machines. Okay, guys, with, with this, we've finished the, this topic of campaign machines, and now it's time to continue with activity. Thank you.